That's some really quick quarter modeling. Okay, now we think about what we would have to do in a situation when we had some really steep slopes. So right now we're at 125. Here's my alignment. I'm gonna pick on the surface just to kind of give you an idea. I've already put in my finished grade for my corridor. If I go to my object viewer, if I wanna look at that in 3D, there's some really steep slopes in here. So if I have really steep slopes, again, I build that corridor in terms of a roll, but what if I wanna build that corridor with retaining walls and things like that to address some of these really steep slopes? Well, I'll just use an assembly that addresses that. From that, I'm gonna create, there's clearly a surface here, there's clearly my horizontal alignment. I wanna create a corridor. From this corridor, I have a center line layout, I have an alignment, I have two assemblies. I'm gonna use this completed, it's completed. So I'm gonna select existing ground and tie in and set baseline and region parameters. That's already set, even though it's gonna bring that dialog box. And then I'll select, okay, and rebuild my corridor. So I'm doing things a lot quicker right now in terms of what we got. Wow, that looks crazy. So from that, if I pick on that and pick on my surface, right click and go into Object Viewer, there's some dynamics that we can utilize in terms of building corridors. It's just a matter of what you want to be able to build. So there's that surface, right? So we got two ditches in there in terms of that surface. So that, that doesn't address all this existing nonsense that's coming over. So if I pick on this, just to kind of show you what I built really quickly, if I go on the object viewer, here's this corridor. So it's got some parameters in here. I got a retaining wall in there. So how would that look if they were, if a surface was built? So if I pick on that and select quarter surface, I want to build a quarter surface. So from that surface, we're going to add in the top. We're going to do that as break lines, and we're going to do that overhang for the top link. And I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to select rebuild the surface. From that, we didn't select to build a boundary. Huh. So I'm going to address that really quick. If I pick on that corridor, go into corridor properties on my surfaces tab, we have a boundary. So go to boundaries, corridor is sent, select apply, select to rebuild the corridor, and select OK. And there's my boundary. So now we have this in terms of our quarter surface. And that's looking pretty good. But how does that address my existing ground? So I'm going to do something really quick. I'm going to create a surface called Final. I create a surface called Final. What's the standard? We need to give this some borders and contours, right? Borders and contours. Select OK. Select OK. From that, surface called Final, we want to add in couple of those surfaces. So the one surface we're going to add is add in existing ground. Shazam, there's my existing ground. Then we're going to add in that quarter of surface. Select OK. Wow. Now when we pick on that and go on the object viewer, a little bit more clarity. But things take time. There's no big red easy button, right? Things take time to build. So you can build whatever you want. It doesn't have to be just a roll, you know, it doesn't have to be a roll. It can be a river or cross section. But again, we're going to try to address some questions in reference to quarter mile.